One of the candidates hoping to take Governor Gavin Newsom's job made a stop in Sacramento today in a push to reopen our schools. Former San Diego Mayor Kevin Falconer is getting involved in the statewide debate over how and when to get students back in the classroom. 17's Ashley Zavala has the latest from our Capitol Bureau tonight. We are in real danger of losing an entire other semester. For the first time since announcing his run for governor, Kevin Faulkner stopped in California's capital city Wednesday. Outside the California Department of Education building, the Republican criticized the state's lack of progress in opening up public schools, taking aim at Governor Gavin Newsom. All we continue to hear is rhetoric. All we continue to hear is we're going to come up with another plan. We're still talking about it. And yet schools aren't open. Private schools are open. For the last couple of months, the governor and legislature have been in an ongoing debate over how and when to reopen schools. The governor says he's confident they'll come to an agreement soon. I'm not going to get in any details in the weeds right now. We're, we're, I'm not saying we're, you know, the one or two yard line, but we're certainly in the red zone in terms of working with the legislature. And so I'll just leave it at that. We look forward to uh, working together this week and see where we end up. The school reopening standstill comes as teachers unions demand safety and access to vaccines. School administrators and districts worry about funds, logistics and testing, while others want kids quickly back in the classroom. Faulkner says he would incentivize reopening with money, which Newsom has tried to do. Faulkner also suggests the state provide education stimulus checks for parents who cannot send their kids back to closed classrooms. That sometimes have had to not go to work because they have to be with their kids at home or they've had to buy school supplies for their kids or they've had to hire tutors. It's costing them money. That's costing them lost income. That's costing them wages. I think it's important for us to absolutely consider that if our schools continue not to reopen. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavella, 17 News.